Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're comparing Bitwig Studio and Cubase, two incredibly powerful digital audio workstations, but with very different strengths and target users. Let's start with Bitwig Studio. Bitwig is the newcomer compared to Cubase, but it's built a reputation for its modular flexibility and forward-thinking workflow. It's available on macOS, Windows, and Linux, and it works equally well for loop-based music production, live performance, and deep sound design. One of Bitwig's biggest strengths is its advanced modulation system. You can take any parameter on any plugin or instrument and modulate it with LFOs, step sequencers, envelopes, or custom modulators. Then there's the grid, Bitwig's modular sound design environment, which lets you build your own synths, samplers, and effects from scratch. If you're into experimental production, hybrid workflows, or creating instruments from the ground up, Bitwig is a dream tool. Now let's move to Cubase. Cubase is one of the longest running digital audio workstations in the industry, with a legacy stretching back to the late 1980s. It's a studio powerhouse, trusted by composers, producers, and engineers for everything from pop hits to full film scores. Cubase excels in MIDI composition, audio editing, and mixing precision. Its chord track, score editor, and expression maps make it a top choice for orchestral and cinematic work. It's also loaded with high-quality stock instruments and effects, and its audio engine is rock-solid for recording and mixing. In 2025, Cubase 14 brings AI-assisted workflows, improved comping, advanced spectral editing, and full Dolby Atmos integration, making it a go-to for professional studios. So, how do they feel to use? Bitwig feels like a creative playground. It's fast, customizable, and perfect for producers who want to experiment without being locked into a rigid workflow. It's equally good for sketching quick ideas or building intricate modular patches. Cubase feels like a precision tool. It's not the fastest for jamming out quick loops, but when it comes to detailed arrangement, orchestration, and mixing control, it's hard to beat. Now let's compare pricing. Bitwig Studio offers three editions, Essentials, 99 euros, or about 109 US dollars. This includes all the core features, 10 modulators, and a starter set of instruments and effects. Producer, 199 euros, or about 219 US dollars. This version adds more instruments, more effects, and expands modulation to 18 modulators. Full Bitwig Studio, 399 euros, or about 439 US dollars. This is the complete package with 154 instruments and effects, 42 modulators, the full sound library, and access to the grid modular environment. Cubase 14 pricing. Elements, about $130. Entry level, great for beginners. Artist, about $330. Full featured for most producers. Pro, about $580. Complete suite with surround mixing, advanced MIDI, and pro editing tools. So, which is better? If you're a sound designer, electronic producer, or experimental musician who wants deep modular control and the ability to shape your tools, Bitwig Studio is unmatched. If you're a composer, engineer, or studio professional who needs the most advanced tools for scoring, recording, and mixing, Cubase is the industry standard. Both can produce world-class music. The choice comes down to whether you want limitless modular creativity or studio-grade precision and orchestration tools. Let me know in the comments. Team Bitwig or Team Cubase? If you found this breakdown helpful, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more digital audio workstation comparisons every week. Thanks for watching, and keep creating.